everyone, welcome back to Saguaro Valley. It's been about three months since my last uh, episode or video here, but um, I'm back. It's episode 20, and in today's episode, I'm going to be expanding the downtown. And uh, it's, as you can see here, I'm just chilling in the little area that I built back in, um, I don't remember the episode, but it's the abandoned railway uh, station episode. And yeah, I'm basically going to be expanding the downtown. I'm going to be building a uh, state capital, which is uh, very needed, <laughs> a very needed building here uh, in the city. And I'm also going to be building a entertainment sort of district with some uh, stadiums and uh, concert venue, concert hall, um, or convention centers rather that are here in Phoenix. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Just looking back on this footage, uh, this is actually really old footage. I, I think I recorded this like right before I started recording my previous Mexico episode. <laughs> so this is quite, this is kind of old. I, I kind of prepared just to make this its own little episode, just to have this little um, government uh, capital building area in the city. This is supposed to be its own thing, but I just kind of went overboard. With this episode, I definitely bit off a bit more than I could chew um, with this video, but whatever, what's done is done, and um, yeah, the change in quality here, you might notice later on, because this is back when, uh, before I installed Dynamic Resolution, which I don't know why I didn't have that in the first place before. Um, when I when I started making these videos, I was just dumb, but dynamic res resolution really just makes the game look so much better. Uh, I think I believe that it's playing back at 1080p or something, so it, or maybe even a little lower. I don't remember, but it does look a little grainy. It does look a little pixelated, and uh, with dynamic resolution, that just bumped it up to 1440p, which is what my monitor resolution is now. Uh, fun fact, when I first started this series, I was actually using a 1080p monitor, so there's that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm ba obviously basing this off of the Capitol building here in Phoenix. Um, it definitely does not look anything like the building that you see in front uh, right now. I believe this building is actually from Japan, but it's one of the only good uh, government buildings that I could find on the workshop that isn't just straight up the U.S. Capitol, so... <laughs> I, I just had to work with what I what I had and um, I guess the story of this little area is that that building that you saw previously it's the original sort of government capital building with the Congress and house on each side um, but later on just the, the, the state kind of just kind of grew out of this building and it just had a couple of more expansion projects uh, two of them being the two buildings that you see in front and the next one being just an entirely new capital building in a more sort of brutalist architecture sort of style which was very famous and very um, popular to use for government buildings uh, back in the 1900s or 1950s around around that sort of time I don't I'm, I don't quite remember <laughs> but um yeah I did have a lot of like trial and error with this building here uh, I cut out a lot of footage um, but this is sort of its final form right here. I just decided to just some throw together like three, four different buildings, and um, it, it actually turned out pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good looking in my opinion. Um, I did throw in like little, just smaller little buildings in the front, just to like serve as like a little entrance to have something more, more well defined instead of just having like a normal uh, door, glass door that comes with the normal office buildings that that you see that I use here. But um, yeah, this 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 whole area in general is a little bit tricky to try and try and build because well, in the in the real Arizona capital, there's like a bunch of these um, 
monuments and memorials just scattered around the, the whole site. And it really gives off this really, um, this really cool, like, sort of modern feel, I guess. It's definitely, it definitely feels really new. It's like a project that, that, uh, that the state worked on afterwards. But there's, just, I just, I just couldn't really replicate that in City Skylines because there's not really that much, that many monuments that are small sized enough for me to just throw in the city. Everything's like huge or, there's basically uh, too many large and um, kind of iconic structures and monuments on the workshop that I can't really use here, um, just for obvious reasons. I'm not going to throw the Statue of Liberty or something here, but um, yeah, I, I just I just had to find a way to like make up for that, make up for the landscaping here, and I basically just solved that just by putting down a crap load of pa uh, paths that create. Uh, different sort of patterns and shapes on the ground and obviously a lot of foliage fo foliage and trees just to uh, add that little bit of life to the to the area here and um yeah I, I the only real uh um, statue that I could really use in this area was that uh I don't know if it's a van vanilla statue or not but it's that blue horse um guy I don't really know what the real life counterpart is to that one but it's just a generic sort of statue i guess and um yeah i, I just i didn't i didn't really want to overuse that one because it's the only one i had that really works with the, in this area so uh, if anyone knows of any actual good sort of monuments and statues that i can use uh please tell me in the comments because i, I kind of want to add that to this area i don't <laughs> I, I i just want to add that i don't know it, it it feels like it's just missing here you know but, um, yeah, I definitely added, like, a lot of these little desert patches just to, like, kind of, um, give homage to the whole little Arizona desert vibe here. Because, obviously, just having huge lo green lawns isn't really, isn't really, um, realistic to the sort of nature that just exists, exists here naturally in the state. Um, even though I think in the actual Arizona state capital there just is a bunch of green lawns and um, uh, just grass everywhere and trees which isn't really isn't really uh, realistic but I decided to add that in so whatever I have a little bit of an announcement to make uh, here on the channel. Um, I'm planning <laughs> on starting a third series, and I know I I'm already suck with my upload schedule and just having two series, but um, I plan to start this in the summer, like May, early May, or to mid May. I don't I don't really know, but sometime in May it's gonna come out the first episode, hopefully. And um, this new series is going to be focused on New York City. And the reason why I'm choosing New York is because, well, one, I don't really see that many New York City projects out there. It's probably just because of the daunting task that <laughs> building New York City is, uh, just in general. But I, I just, I, I just want to... The main reason for me doing this is because I just love New York and... Me, as an architecture student here uh, in college, I'm just sort of fascinated just by the sheer amount of like different architectural styles that there are that just exist in New York City just because of the history that it's had in just the architecture world, you know? So I kind of want to explore that. I kind of want to just sort of dive deep into um, architecture with this new series of mine. Um, uh, it's definitely going to help me with my studies in general because I'm going to force myself to do like research and uh, learn more about architectural history because I am taking an arch architectural history class right now, but <laughs> I'm just kind of like BSing my way through it just to get the grade, you know, but I actually, I actually do want to like learn more about this sort of stuff and I think this series will definitely help with that. Uh, one thing to note is that I'm definitely not just going to download a Manhattan map and call it a day and just rebuild New York City one-to-one, -one, but um, I'm actually going to either try and find a 
similar map on the workshop that I can probably work with, or I'll just straight up make my own map. Uh, because I'm not really trying, I'm trying to build New York, but I'm trying to make it my own city, you know? I'm definitely not trying to rebuild it one for one. I'm going to have all the same landmarks, all the same sort of similar geographic location stuff. Like, uh, the World Trade Center is going to be at the southern tip of an island, and the Empire State Building is going to be sort of somewhere towards the middle. I'm going to have a central park, but it's not going to be quite the same. Um, I'm going to have, like, I'm basically just going to make it my own. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to see how this new series turns out because I have been wanting to build New York for the longest time and I just never really had the computing power to do so because when I started this series, uh, Saguaro Valley, I had, I had a pretty mech PC and I just kind of built it up. Um, throughout the past year or so because I just got a job and I don't really have that many expenses so I just threw it all in my PC and now I just and now I just have like a decently good PC that can actually sort of handle the sort of stuff that I want to do with it so um, yeah there's that there's that to look forward to um, again it's gonna come out sometime in May and uh, yeah I hope you guys uh, will stay tuned for that and are and uh, like my idea and uh, right now I'm just um, just going back to the video itself. I'm just sort of detailing the surrounding areas of the Capitol building um, campus area, I guess, because um, it's just sort of filler, filler, filler stuff, you know, just any random sort of office slash industrial um, buildings in this area would work nicely. So that's what I'm kind of focusing on. Uh, there's a quite a bit of commercial too. I know that in downtown there's like a lot of these little, um, I, don't, I don't know if I want to call them districts, but just little areas of commercial and restaurants that are just like uh, family owned and just small businesses that just bring life to the area and I kind of want to recreate that at some point um, in the city. I kind of do that here, but not really to the extent that I, that I want to and to really pay homage and give respect to what actually exists here so uh, definitely look forward to that but it's yeah right now I'm just doing casual detailing I definitely don't want to overdo it because <laughs> my game is starting to not run as smoothly as I would like it to and, uh, oh yeah I also downloaded these new Sawarl cactuses by I think it was I believe they're from Mr. Mason he makes a lot of really good um, stuff so um, brilliant addition to the series I love these new cactuses I've recently watched this uh, video by um, I, I believe the youtuber name is 187.4 um, he makes a lot of like hyper realistic sort of um, um, little mini builds he doesn't really do any series or build or cities um, like one would expect perhaps but he He's a very different kind of City Skylines YouTuber. Definitely go check his stuff out. Um, uh, but he made a video recently about... Um, well, it wasn't about commentary, but he did talk about it. Uh, he does this a lot, actually, but... Um, <laughs> when I, while I was watching it, uh, it definitely sort of... Kind of attacked me, because he pointed out some stuff that... Um, a lot of smaller city skylines youtubers do um at least when it comes in terms to commentary stuff uh, basically if you have nothing to say don't speak at all and that's kind of <laughs> it's definitely hard for someone like me to because i'm definitely still consider myself very new to the sort of youtube commentary stuff i can't i, I need to learn to just speak off the top of my head a little better and speak about what's happening in my videos and just overall just learn how to have conversations with myself and uh, make interesting videos that way because if not I'm just gonna be doing stuff like well oh, that's it for me uh, you can guys you guys can just listen to the music while I build this for now <laughs> and just stuff like that that I've definitely done in the past and I've seen other youtubers do so I'm trying to better myself in that in that department and uh my terrible upload schedule definitely isn't helping with my practice.
so now I'm kind of starting on this uh, sort of entertainment district here uh, in the downtown, which basically consists of consists of like two stadiums, I think, and like a bunch of convention centers, which is uh, it's it's a really sort of clean and modern area. Um, or clean and modern part of downtown Phoenix. Downtown Phoenix is actually really interesting uh, now that I mention it because it, it, <laughs> you can be driving along the street and it's like a bunch of these like really nice new clean buildings uh, and then just take one turn and then you're just suddenly in a really crappy side of town and um, that's kind of what I try, try to uh, accomplish here uh, because as soon as you uh, leave this sort of litter, little uh, intersection here and you go behind these large convention centers It's just a bunch of really crappy like um, Industry buildings or worn down um, commercial areas Maybe b uh, little small businesses that are running out of uh, That are going out of business rather so uh, Yeah, it's definitely a little interesting sort of spot to build here and I don't, I'm sorry that <laughs> the fact that the video just paused, they just kind of tripped me up. I didn't know if my video just went wrong or something, but um, yeah, it's at this point in the video that I kind of just realized that, wow, I definitely built way more than I probably should have for this episode because while it's definitely not as big of, as big of an expansion that I did in my previous video, uh, at least for Sawar Valley, um, it's I did a lot more, I guess, detail work here, so with the previous video where I can sort of get away with cutting out a bunch of like footage because it's basically just the same old re repeated stuff, I just placed down houses, 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 and just that kind of stuff. Here I actually detailed very specific areas in very specific ways that just kind of made it difficult for me to decide what to cut out and what to leave in so I definitely had a fun time editing this one <laughs> it was it was I just I basically just cut out way more stuff than I probably anticipated and that I wanted so yeah oh also something terrible happened when I was building this um, sort of area here my game sort of crashed and I didn't have it saved so I had to rebuild this, um, it's not what you're seeing on here, this is the original work, I had to go back and rebuild it, but luckily I basically made it the same way um, that it was, there's not too many differences, so, oh wait, no, I don't think it was this area, I think it was an area that I just bit finished building closer to the, to the capital uh, building, but regardless, I lost progress, I rebuilt it, it's basically the same, so there's that, it was just a little traumatic experience for me because uh, yeah, when that happened, I just kind of gave up and stopped playing for the day, and um, or at least the, for the morning, and uh, just got back into it later that day when I sort of built up my my <laughs> motivation to just get back into the game. But yeah, I'm sure you guys have dealt with that too, and it just it just sucks. It just sucks having to rebuild stuff that you um, put so much thought into. But I guess in a way it's a bit easier the second time around because you know what you built because a lot of times or when you're building it for the first time you're just thinking about hmm what should go here what should go there there's a lot of like thinking to do but like once you have it done obviously it's a little easier so um, actually that reminds me of something that I wanted to rant about uh, it's just the way I build in this game. It's so annoying because I'm built the way I build is it's a bit all over the place I focus on one area then I get bored and I go on this other area and I just go back and forth a lot So it's a lot. It's really hard to edit these videos because it, there's a lot of inconsistency um, Inconsistent sort of I don't even know what the word is, but I just jump around a lot and it's really hard to edit because it's I'm just in one area and then I'm in another and it's very hard to tell like a coherent story uh, Because I just can't focus on one area and that just sucks for editing I know I just repeated myself like three times, but you know <laughs> You know what I mean basically. I don't know if you guys do this too uh, when you're playing this game, but um, Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird and um, Yeah, this is actually this actually uh, turned out to be one of my favorite areas um, it, of this of this episode because this, this is a little uh, street that has a tram running through it 
Uh, which, by the way, um, it, I think it is the same tram that Strict Toaster used in his Nidal series, or Nidal. Um, uh, I didn't know when I first downloaded it. I just thought it looked nice, and I like the yellow color because it just kind of matches the the desert and maybe the sunny days that are just always a thing here in Phoenix. So I was like, hmm, this is perfect. Uh, it's only until later that I realized, like, wait, this is uh, from the pretty popular youtuber I don't know if I should uh, use this for my series it's not it's not I'm not I won't say that in like a way that like oh I um, I can't use this because it doesn't belong to me obviously it's on the workshop and I can use it for whatever the hell I want but um, I don't know I just want it I don't want to have it or have people associate different like little elements with someone else's series you know I want everything to be sort of my own so uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should keep the little uh, streetcar tram. Um, well, I guess here in Phoenix, I actually call it a light rail. That's what it's supposed to be here in Saguaro Valley. But uh, let me know if you think I should keep it or replace it with something else. I do have two other trams installed that I was like debating on using, but I just decided to stick with the yellow one because I liked it more. But yeah, definitely tell me if you think I should keep it or not. Um, cause I don't, I don't know, it's definitely, it's, it's up to you guys. <laughs> um, right now I'm just building this little empty lot. Um, I do a lot of these just to like fill in the spaces, especially the weird spaces that I leave behind here. Um, it's not that unrealistic either cause in Phoenix, we do, again, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but there's just a lot of just unused land or undeveloped land just scattered around the whole city and um, again why am I leaving this in the video god I didn't know <laughs> there's just a lot a lot of paused video or footage that I just left um, whatever I, <laughs> I, le I left it in for this I'm recording it over so I'm not gonna go back and redo my commentary for for this for having replaced the footage later on so I'm just gonna leave it in whatever I don't care <laughs> you guys just have to deal with it but um, what am I doing right now oh bollards or ballards I don't know what the name of those things are but basically keeps the cars out of the sidewalks from committing terrible acts of violence against pedestrians um, this little area inside this in, uh, stadium here it was a bit weird to build because um, downtown Phoenix has a lot of these little areas where it's just commercials that commercial areas that's really only accessible by foot um, so and city skylines doesn't really work that way all the buildings need connection to a road so uh, I think in a few seconds you're gonna see me have a place down like a in-and-out burger and some other like, little restaurants and bars uh, just right here yeah there, there they are I don't know. I don't know how I managed to actually make this work because they're not connected to a road, but they're not complaining about not having services and stuff. So uh, maybe it's the fact that they're kind of close to that pedestrian walkway. Maybe that that's enough for them to not complain. I, I just don't know. But I try not to do this too often because I do hate seeing those little error messages and complaints of buildings just asking for services or a road connection. Um, so... I can't really build many areas like this, even though I want to, and there's so many of these areas in Phoenix, it's just annoying how this game works sometimes, I just can't do what I want, uh, or at least in a way that I, I prefer, but uh, I made it work, I don't care, this little area turned out to be pretty, pretty cool, so there's a lot of green space, a lot of cool uh, different shapes going on, going on with the paths. It's at this point in the video when I where I kind of just uh, decided to just detail everything in one go and just make it good enough. I didn't really care about it looking like insanely good or insanely detailed just because I'm not really going to pay attention to this area in the future. Uh, it's, it's As long as it looks good from, a certain, from certain angles and from afar, I'm fine. Uh, and definitely because I'm just starting to grow past the limits of city skylines i'm already hitting a hundred thousand population uh so i don't i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be able to do the series honestly because at a certain point this game just sort of breaks and stops working properly i know prez just had a huge error 
or cancellation with his Columbia City uh, series, which is a shame, but like, it's whatever. The game just sucks, so you kind of just have to do that sort of stuff sometimes because you just reach the limits, you know? This game wasn't... How old is this game, actually? It's like five, six years old already. Definitely wasn't made to handle this many different... Um, sort of third-party additions with all the assets and all the mods that people have made throughout the throughout the years which obviously makes the game just so much there's so, such a better experience than what vanilla is I hate vanilla city skylines it's just um, it was fun when it first came out but just it really just got old really quick so um, Again, this, this community that has built around this game, it, it's kind of really kept it going, kept it alive, so... Um, yeah, that is the end of the episode here, so um, it was a bit of a long one, I definitely bit off more than I can chew with this video. But, three months later, here you are, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I guess I will see you guys in another year <laughs> in my next, uh, next Royal Valley episode. No, I'm just kidding.